here we go. This we're recording has discusses with Dan. Dan who? Dan Eden. Dan Eden. The Garden of Eden. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. I just like this is a word association. <laughs> I got an early screener of this. And um Damn bro. It's like I know a lot of people who like the office and parks and recreation and all that shit. And they'll be like they'll they'll love this. I, oh. I the odd the audience is like set in stone, you know. I feel like what I'm hearing though is you like that fucking grill, gorilla style. Like we're just like absolutely. You don't. You're not trying to be like Nolan. <laughs> like you're just trying to. You want to have a more like raw, oh god, run and gun, safety. Who wouldn't love to be Nolan? But yeah, safety. Ooh, that's a good. That's a great reference, and that's a high compliment. If if I were to ever get any comparison, because Uncut Gems is. I mean, who didn't love that movie, right? Bro, I was um I've. I, that's that's out of all the movies from 2019, that's the movie I rewatched the most. I've yeah. seen it probably 30 times. I'd have to say right off the bat, the interventionist is my favorite character. <laughs> He's the funniest character of the whole movie. Like him, okay. him and the um people person who's being interventioned or mm-hmm. whatever it is. You know what I mean? Those were like genuine characters, but I feel like every character at least I remembered them. I was just trying to up my game to the Christopher Guest level because he fleshes out such big 3D characters and sometimes they feel broad and like caricatures, but then they get these. I'll, okay, I'll play the guy and you play the friend, okay, in this scene. Ready? Why do, why do I gotta watch this movie? What? Come on, man. It's awesome. Like, did you did you even go to Amazon and check it out? Like, it's uh, do you like Christopher Guest? Do you like Waiting for Guffman, Best in Show? Do you like The Office? Do you like Parks I and Rec? Do you like. Office. Oh, well, who doesn't, right? Like, there's some characters who are kind of similar. Like, I'd say Marsha Hope, she's kind of like a Dwight in the movie. And, you know, we got a Jim. Jim's kind of like the alcoholic in our movie. He does a lot of mugging to the camera. <laughs> but, yeah. no, like, if you like the mock doc style, that comedy, that what we do in the shadows is another great example. The talking head interviews, the cool energy of the handheld and the gorilla style. It's, uh, it's great. I don't know. Let's watch it. End of scene. Okay. <laughs> no script. Um, basically, bullet points of how the day was going to go. Like, uh, like Kara, you play Marsha Hope. You're going to show up at this house in Bolingbrook at 2 p.m. in character. And this is the context. And at 4 p.m., this needs to happen. And at 5 p.m., this is going to happen. And you just improvise the dialogue. And we're just going to shoot. And we're not even going to cut unless we run out of memory or battery, you know? What I do is I write a, a bio, and I'm doing that for this new movie I'm shooting as well. I'm, I'm gonna have a, another one out later this year. We're gonna, have, the I'm same, gonna have to hear about that. Yeah. Same format. Uh, and as a matter of fact, I'm you know I'm in intervention. I play one of the documentarians and uh, the cinematographer. Kevin so like you're Kirchner. the guy who is like saying stuff like. Yeah. What about like or, or you know in the background? Yeah. Well, it's it's me and Kevin actually. Um, there's two of us. There's documentarian one and two, and they like. It really depends in the movie who is going to ask what, but um, we reprise those characters again in this new movie I'm shooting. Mm. So it's the same universe, the same Dude, aesthetic. You know what I like to see though? Like, did he come up with those weird like phone call conversations? Like, it's not porn. Like, <laughs> that was all him. That oh. was all him. All I said to him was, "Your, can we have you get a call from your wife? The context is that you suspect she's cheating and she keeps interrupting you while you're working. Now just go, you know, and we off camera, one of us called in his phone and just let him answer and see what happens. You know, that's the fun of, of doing these kinds of movies. And I think for the actors, too, you know, unpredictable. You We're like out. Dunkirk? You enjoyed that movie? Did you not? Um, I Keep thought it was pretty good. Me. Keep it a being with me. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was uh well I liked it better than Tenet, I'll say that. I disagree with you, but um That's fine. Did but, you like you like Tenet too? Yeah, but I think that Nolan he's done better than both Tenet and Dunkirk. But I think Interstellar is his like greatest creation. Is that a hot take for you or do you like Interstellar? Uh, I've heard I've heard that take before, so it's not hot to me. But I I disagree. I I didn't didn't click with me. So I'm now for me for the last three Nolan movies, 
what did he do before Interstellar? He did Dark Knight Rises, which I did not like. So like his last three or four movies, I'm not a fan of. And I, that sounds like a real fucking douchey thing to say. <laughs> so I'm sorry to everybody out there, the film lovers, but I guess Dunkirk I like the most out of those. I, I guess we're I guess we're going down a path here. But what I was saying is, um. Like Tenet, like if I need to supplemental material to go with my movie to appreciate it, then I get points off for the movie itself. You know, they, we should have given that material within the movie, the context of the film itself. You know, you saw how rough intervention is around the edges. Let's make no mistake about it. There's no lighting, professional lighting in that movie. Uh, it's just cinema verite. It's documentary style. And granted, that is the genre, but they support homegrown indie movies more than I've ever seen and they give you a shot to actually get distribution which What's I quote again uh, indie rights do you want this to like blow up or do you would you prefer a cult following that is a good question um, you know I told uh, I told Jer and Kevin E and the K and Eek that uh, I'm not really looking for much money but I am looking for an audience in exchange for that and if it is a devout cult audience who is going to stick with us till the next one and the next one so be it that'd be great because we don't even have that to be honest with you right now I mean we I don't know a few dozen really really devout fans over the years but we're, we're still building we still have building to do I'm being honest you know so yeah uh, you can go to the only place to watch it is Amazon right now. If you have the app, you can add it to your watch list. You just search an a n space intervention. Uh, it's important that you put an intervention because there's another indie movie called the intervention, and then there's the show intervention. So we're an intervention, and uh, you'll find it there. You could rent it, you could buy it, but uh, between you and me and the listeners and the viewers, it's going to be on Prime very soon, um, within the next week. If you guys want to wait another week to watch it for free but if you want to shell out a few bucks and i know i'm shooting myself in the foot but you know what this is the season still of Get giving and i think uh it'll be on prime very soon and when it comes on there you should watch it for free definitely review it on amazon at imdb because as i was we were talking about algorithms and stuff like that's that stuff's so important this has a good audience and i feel like a lot of people like could mess with this or watch it with like their family you know what i mean like yeah, enjoy. it's not like completely a family movie, but like sure. you could watch. If you got it with a like cool a couple... family, you could watch it with your family. Like certainly. if you're like a old, like if you're like a teenager that's older, you could watch it with your parents. Yeah, maybe. definitely, definitely. And um, thank you for coming on, man. Thanks for having me, man. This was great. It was a good conversation. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks, man. It'll probably be released around Friday the eighth or something. Okay, um, I'll uh I'll make some posts about it in uh on Instagram and uh, Twitter and stuff ahead of time, and uh, it'll be good. So Friday, Friday it'll be released.